Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I know it's late on a Friday night and a lot of people are either out or sleep or just at home chilling. This is my first live. I hope it'll let me save it so that I can share. But nevertheless, I know that it plays the playback for a little while because I've seen it in my news feed. But anyway, I just wanted to share something really quick tonight because today is June 30th and tomorrow is July the 1st, right? And so I always think of July as the middle of the year. And I also think it's a time that a lot of people kind of reassess their goals. They kind of look at um, maybe what God said in the beginning of the year that he was going to accomplish in their life or what was going to be accomplished in their life. It's the middle of the year, right? And we're certainly in a goal-driven society nowadays, but I do think that the middle of anything is a time where kind of people reflect on their life, they think about what's going on, even if it's not the middle of the year, maybe you're at an age where you're in the middle ages, uh, for lack of better words, but you know, you may feel like you're mid-age and you begin looking over your life and wondering if you've accomplished all that you should accomplish, wondering if you're in the will of God. So the middle really, I think, is big for a lot of people. And so I just want to share something really quick that God uh, blessed my heart with this evening, and that is to don't count yourself out. Do not count yourself out. If you are still living, and I know you are, because you're able to see this video, then God does not want you to count yourself out. I want to read one scripture to you, and that's in Exodus 7, 7. Exodus 7, 7 says, Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 when they spoke to Pharaoh. Kind of sounds like a random scripture, right? But most people, even if they don't go to church, have heard of Moses, right? And Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, and his assignment was to lead them into the promised land. He didn't. He died before they went into the promised land, but, well, he didn't lead them into the promised land, but God used him greatly to minister for over 40 years to the children of Israel. But this scripture in Exodus 7, 7 tells us Moses was 80 years old and Aaron who was his relative who did this alongside of him was 83 when they first spoke to Pharaoh so this is before all the plagues came this is basically when Moses ministry started he was 80 years old if you would have asked somebody when Moses was 70 when he was 65 um who's Moses People wouldn't have known because he wasn't known like that. But he didn't start until he was 80 years old. And I think that speaks in volumes because so often we in this world, it's easy to count ourselves out because of a so-called limitation we think we have. It may not be your age. It may be your education. It may be your past. It could be many things. But how many of us have had thoughts that were excuses of why we can't do this or why we're not qualified or why we're not worthy to share this with this person or to teach or to preach or to minister to others? Why I'm not qualified to write this book? Why I shouldn't start this business? Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. But God wants us to remember in this middle point of this year, do not count yourself out. In Jeremiah, it tells us that before we were born, God knew us. That's what he told Jeremiah, but it's the same for us. He said, before you were born, I knew you and created you for a purpose. And so God does not want you to count yourself out. I pray that in the midst of discouragement sometimes, in the midst of 
failures in life because failure um, is something that everybody has experienced, right? But we don't want to allow that to cripple us from moving forward. And so I just want to encourage you tonight to not count yourself out. It's the midpoint of the year. God has a plan for you. He has a purpose for you. He has a work for you to do. And here's the thing. This is something that I wrestle with on and off. And I'm always asking God to help me. And I'm just being honest. And that is that sometimes when you scroll on social media, you see all these great things people are doing, they're being successful. That is wonderful, but that is not taking away from what God has for you. And it's just like saying, if you see someone else, let's say as, as a woman, I see another woman and she's really attractive and a lot of guys are attracted to her. What she has doesn't take away from me so I can celebrate what she has. I don't have to be jealous, but we're like in this day where we show all of the highlights of our lives and all that's going on well. And when we're at home and when it's just us and God by ourselves, it's so tempting to think those negative thoughts. Well, I can't do this because I'm not qualified. I can't do this because I'm not educated. I can't do this because of my age. I can't, this can't happen in my life because I'm too old. That is not what the word of God says. I refuse to believe that God is in heaven sweating, saying, oh no, my son is too old. My, my daughter is, doesn't have enough education to do this. Please. He's the one who placed the gift inside of us. And God really gets the glory when he uh, chooses somebody who has a past that people think that he couldn't use. He really gets the glory out of that. I mean, he gets the glory even if you if we went to school. But God gets the glory out of uh, making the ordinary extraordinary. So don't count yourself out. If Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83, when he first began his ministry, when they first began their ministry, don't let anybody tell you you're too old to get married. Don't let anybody tell you you're too old to be a parent. I want you to trust God, don't let anybody tell you you're not qualified to start a business. Just all these really lies that discourage us and hinder us from moving forward. So do not count yourself out no matter what. You may be going through on your job. You may have just gone through a breakup. You may have tried a business venture and felt that you failed. You may have lost a great friendship. But God does not want you to count yourself out. So move forward in what God has called you to do. There was another scripture I wanted to share with you all uh, that for for some reason it's slipping me. But um, I'm not going to stay on any longer. I'm not going to just ramble on. But don't count yourself out. Okay. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what your boss said. I don't care what somebody told you when you were a child. Do not count yourself out because God has not counted you out. Okay. So move forward in this middle point of the year. Even if you think you're behind and you should have been done something, now is the time to do it. And most importantly, seek God in the midst of it because really there's nothing more important than seeking the face of God because he's the one that's put the gifts in us. He's the one that has given us purpose. And so he's a creative God and he will help us be successful and carry out those purpose and plan that he has for us. So you have a blessed evening, a blessed uh, July 1st holiday weekend with your family or if you're just chilling at home, whatever it may be, be blessed and do not count yourself out. Bye.